final story here this evening might sound like it, but this is not a promotion for a sequel to the movie Armageddon. In just a few hours, a spacecraft that NASA shot off 10 months ago will crash into an asteroid 7 million miles away from us, with one of the team leaders likening this to, quote, running a golf cart into a great pyramid. Well, the double asteroid redirection test, or DART, is a $300 million experiment to see if this would be a viable solution if an asteroid were ever headed straight for Earth. And joining us now is NASA Chief Scientist Catherine Calvin. Thanks so much for being here. It's great to, to have you on this significant and important day. I wonder if we can start here, if you could just kind of talk us through exactly what's going to happen around 714 Eastern tonight. Yes, so at 714 Eastern time tonight, the DART spacecraft is going to impact an asteroid and try to change its orbit. Uh, DART launched last November and it's been traveling. It's about 6.7 million miles away from Earth right now at a system of, of two asteroids that are orbiting each other. Um, it, so far, it's been controlled by mission engineers, but when it gets close, it's going to navigate its way in and impact the asteroid and try to change the orbit. This is our first test of planetary defense. So, Dr. Calvin, you say this is sort of a, a test. Um, what does this success look like on this mission? How will you determine if this is successful? Well, so first, we've never done this before. We've never tried to change the orbit of an asteroid. Um, and the way that this system is working, that the computer, we've trained a computer to guide itself toward an asteroid we've never seen to impact it and to try to change its orbit. And so what we'll be looking for is whether or not the orbit changed. So does it orbit differently than it did before impact? We had mentioned, and I think a lot of people, when they hear about this mission, they think um, to the movie Armageddon, right? And, and the, you know, how we saw that kind of play out on the big screen. This is obviously very different, but does the fact that you are doing this test um, mean that there is a chance, albeit hopefully very small chance, that something like this could be necessary someday? So first of all, the system that we're impacting today is no threat to Earth. Um, so it, it's not a threat. There are no known large asteroids um, that are a threat to Earth within the next 100 years. But we are continually looking. So our Planetary Defense Coordination Office is charged with monitoring four comets and asteroids. So we find them, we track them, we monitor them. And then the other part of what they do is, is to test out technologies um, and develop technologies that could change the orbit if we were to ever discover a dangerous asteroid. And DART is part of that effort. As you in your just normal life talk to people about this mission, um, it does seem like something in science fiction or something we would see in a movie, right? I mean, I mean it's pretty exciting uh, that you're able to even, you know, attempt something like this. It is really, you know, it's a, a true testament to, to teamwork and, and technology and innovation. Um, and it's part of our larger effort about protecting planet Earth. Um, Earth is one of NASA's most important missions. And this is our way of testing. Could we move an, an asteroid if needed? We've been talking with NASA Chief Scientist Catherine Calvin. Thanks so much for your time again. I know it is a very busy day for you. Uh, it is an impressive mission. Um, you have a very impressive title. Thanks for taking the time and, and walking us through this. Thank you so much for having me.